is falling all around as the evening draws near. It's feeling so cold out, but inside there's good cheer. Staring across the good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Skyboy SFO. And I'm Bobby Robert. I make videos about flight attendant life. And this month is Vlogmas. We're on day number seven, seven, seven. I can't believe it's been seven days. That's, that means I'm making my seventh video in a row. I hope you are enjoying my videos. Um, I'm having a good time coming up with ideals. Yesterday was fun. I kind of gave you an inside scoop of my kitchen for one, but um, my juicing, my um, juicing routine for um, getting a flat body. So I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check out my vlog number six. It's all about green juicing and the juicing machine and where you can buy it. You can find it in my links. So on that same theme, today I thought I'd show you my skincare regimen. I like to say I wake up like this, but I don't. Actually, I haven't done anything this morning. I still got sleep in my eyes because it's early in the morning, but I want to get this video shot um, before I get my day going. I think it's very important that um, you take care of your skin. I think that shows a lot about who you are from the inside and outside, especially men. A lot of men feel like they don't need to take care of their skin and um, they skip that regimen or they use bar soap for their uh, face. I'm like, that is probably the no, 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 no. I think for men, I think I'll talk about men's skincare today. Um, I think men should have four simple steps. So men, keep it simple. Do four easy steps a day. Um, one would be make sure you wash your face with a face wash, exfoliate, uh, a toner, and a moisturizer. And I'll be going over my regimen and show you what products that I use and where you can get them. Now for me, I do a little bit extra because I am extra. Uh, I'm getting up there in the age. I turned the big 5-0 in May. So I also use a eye cream as well as a serum for my under eye bags. Um, I'll also show you that. And I'll show you what product I use on my dry beard. And by the end of the day, my face is beat without makeup, without Botox, without any of that stuff, but natural. Um, so if you are a probably mature person, you might want to check out also some eye creams and uh, making sure they have retinol for anti-aging and definitely SPF. It's very important that you stay out the sun. I didn't have that education growing up and I stayed in the sun a lot. I have a lot of freckles, which I used to be embarrassed of it, but now I embrace my freckles. Um, but I'm ready to get started. Most of my products I get from uh, Target, Walgreens, um, Walmart, any drugstore. Uh, I've tried the expensive things at Macy's and Nordstrom's and it does the same thing and you're just wasting your money. So these are my products. I'm gonna start off with the Neutrogena uh, Oil-Free Acne Wash. I wash, wash, wash. Then, depending on what I'm in the mood for, I either do St. Ives. I love this. It's very cheap, but it works. It's very abrasive, so you might not do this, but only once a week. Maybe once every two weeks. It's very uh, abrasive. Um, but every week, I'll do this um, Clarify Mud Mask. Shea uh, has shea butter in it. It's African Black Soap. Get that. Then I will um, either put a rose water sheet mask on once a week. Uh, but for daily, I'll go into um, my toner. I use a beta. I do upgrade on my toner. I bring this everywhere I go and I just get a nice rose mist. I love this. And then I use their um, hydrating lotion uh, as well. That's the final product that I have. For you mature men, I take it to a step further. I use Oil Olay. I use the um, Pro Retinol Eye Treatment and also the Eye Lifting uh, Serum. 
And then this came for free. I haven't tried it, but I'm gonna try it next. It's the Age Repair Lotion with uh, Sunscreen. But I normally just use my um, Aveda there. And for my beard, I use a um, conditioner. It's a beard balm, leave-in. Kind of soften up my beard. It's also important if you have a shaved head that you also exfoliate and scrub your head. Um, keep that skin uh, from flaking and getting dry. Especially when you work in the airline industry, you're so dry up in the air, so any kind of moisturizer that you can get on your face is very helpful. And those men of color, I also have what we call the tin skin. I don't know if you heard that. I think women use this for their bikini wax, but I use it for uh, razor bumps. I put like a little bit on a little pad and I take care of my little razor bumps. Um, I get a lot of ingrown hairs. That's why I like to keep a beard most of the time because I don't have to worry about uh, shaving. Sidebar, nothing to do with my face, but if you're looking for a good body wash, Dove uh, Go Fresh Pear and Aloe Vera Scent Body Wash, it's to die for. This is my luxury. Um, it bubbles pretty well, smells good, it leaves your skin smooth and fresh, um, but it's a sidebar. When I put on my face wash, I use this little roller tree thing here. And I just kind of do that. We also have two speeds. So with the face wash, I first wet my face. And my beard, neck area. Get a couple of squirts of the Neutrogena Acne Wash. And make sure I scrub. You want to do this day and night. You get a lot of dirt from the elements out there, especially on dirty aircraft. I'm gonna make sure that's really on there. Get the under neck. And then I rinse. Make sure you get all the soap off. You pat dry. So on the mask, I get like a quarter size of the clay. Again, I'm using the um, clarifying mud mask. And I, I'm very generous with this. I wanna make sure I see in the mirror that I do it, but I start off with the forehead, staying away from the eye area. Maybe a little more. Get my nose. Get my ball head, get my neck area. Okay, maybe a little more. Yeah, that's much better. Y'all really getting the behind the scenes of my life as a flight attendant. Dry my hands. So after exfoliating with the mask, sometimes I put on the rose water sheet mask, but today I'm just gonna use the uh, lead mask uh, instead of both of them. I did it a couple days ago. Next, I move on to my Aveda, my uh, Skin Tony Agent. It has rose petal oils or something in it. I just give it a couple squirts. Let it sit in a little bit. I kind of pat it to make sure it's in there. And while it's wet, I take some um, of the Aveda Hydrating Lotion, a couple squirts of that, which also has SPF 30 in it. And I just put excessive moisturizer. I do have oily skin. A lot of myth is that when you have oily skin, you don't need lotion, but you actually need it more. It's giving you oil because you're not moisturizing enough. There, I try to get my bald head. And for us old folks, I'll be putting on the um, Pro Retinol Eye Treatment by my uh, Crow's Feet, as well as my Eye Lift and Serum. Just a small little amount 
So I put it right in there. I've been using this probably about two weeks now and I've already noticed a difference, especially under my eye. This is the lifting eye serum. Y'all see that pimple? I don't know where that come from. I'm supposed to see over it. I want to pop it so bad, but do not pop your pimples on your face. I did it right here and I'm still paying for it. I do have a little retinol that I actually put on here that helps me with the uh, discoloration of that pimple I popped. So definitely let the pimple do its course there. Last but not least, I put my tin skin for razor bumps from shaving underneath my beard. I do the full face if I'm not having a beard, but I have a beard, so I'm just gonna kind of do that right here. And y'all know I wash my face thoroughly, right? You still get like dirt. So I love this kind of thing here. And I kind of get my little nose right there and I try to go over my little pimples. Make sure that I get all the dirt out of there. Ooh. And again, for my beard, I use a pomade. You can get it at any drugstore. You can tell I'm almost out of it. And I just take a piece size, rub it in my palm really fast to heat it up. And apply. That's it. So, yep, I do have a couple more steps than most mortals. But that's why I look so good. <laughs> Kidding. See how easy that was, men? Um, you don't have to go to the extreme that I do, but make sure you do the four simple steps of um, doing a face wash and then once a week doing an exfoliation or a mask, um, a nice toner, and then a moisturizer that has SPF 30. And if you're over a 30, it's always a good idea to start using some eye cream to get rid of those crow's nests there. Um, but that's it. That's why I look so fabulous when I'm in my uniform. If you like what you see, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, Skyboy SF. And hit the alert button to know when my next video is. This was vlog number seven. See you tomorrow. Peace. Quiet night, quiet night.